Okay. So the playoffs are set in the NBA. Not officially, but they are. And they're really good. The Western matchups are crazy good. I'm going to just suggest to you that Portland will end up being in the playoffs. Really good team. I think they'll beat the Lakers. I really do. So Portland plays the Lakers, OKC, Houston, Denver, Utah, uh, 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 Clippers, Dallas first round, Milwaukee, Orlando. The West is loaded. The Eastern stuff. I mean, th- those are great. Those are great playoff matchups. And those are fantastic. For, that's the best first round I've ever seen. That's as good as a first round matchup is going to get. Even though Dallas won't beat the Clippers, Dallas will score 115 tonight. Uh, the Eastern lineup's pretty good. But it, it feels like I kind of know that Boston's going to win. I kind of know that Milwaukee's going to win. Um, you know, I, I think Toronto's going to hammer the Nets. And 76ers are limping into that series against the Celtics. I'd probably take Miami over Indiana. But I don't think there is a path tougher for the Lakers than the one they're going to get. They're going to get Portland. Then they're probably going to get Houston. Then they're going to get the Clippers. It is a three-point shooting league. Do you want to know the three top teams in the bubble in three-point shooting? Houston, Portland, Clippers are going to get all three. If they got a break in Oklahoma City, young, feisty, and good, upset Houston, it wouldn't be that big of a break because Westbrook is hurt, not at 100%. And they got three guards, Oklahoma City's all guards, that can play and shoot. Dennis Schroeder, CP3, and uh, Slay, Gilgis, Alexander. So if that's the break that you get Oklahoma City playing with house money, maybe have the coach of the year, um, has some size in the front court, and a bunch of dudes that run around young, energized, and can shoot. It is now officially a hot take, as they call it, to say the Lakers are going to win the championship. That You could not have a tougher path. I like the Lakers. I really do. But seating matters, path matters, schedule matters. I think the Buffalo Bills are really good. But if you told me over the next 10 years they're going to get to the Super Bowl, I'm going to have to suggest to you that Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes probably not going to let that happen because you may have to beat both. I don't don't think that's going to happen for Buffalo as much as Josh Allen's got talent. It, It matters who you play. I think this is as tough a draw as the Lakers could get. And when Avery Bradley opted out and when Rondo was injured, we came on the air that, that day, Joy and I, and we said, this is not insignificant. This is a real story. Avery Bradley's their best defensive guard. They have nobody to guard these guys. Nobody to guard Dane. Harden. Potentially Chris Paul. They, they don't have anybody to guard these guys. So uh, not, not great if you're a Laker fan. All right. Um, so Zion Williamson's rookie year is over. So it's over. And uh, I'm going to read you the numbers. <laughs> but they're pretty good numbers. They're, they're about what we predicted before the season. 22 and a half points, six rebounds, two assists, and he shot 58% from the field. He didn't play much. 24 games. What if this is what he is? Special but infrequent. You know, I used to have this. Uh, I used to do this all the time with a friend of mine, Joe. And I, he said, would you rather go to 12 NBA games and have bad seats or two and have great seats. And I was always like, oh, I take two. If you put me on the floor for two games, I'd take that over 12 in the upper deck. And I said, to me, it's just an argument over, would you rather eat once at a great steakhouse or four times at, you know, Shaggy's down the street, which has health violations. Give me quality over quantity. What if this is Zion Williamson? He's great, but infrequent. He's a 53 a game guy every season. All right. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, last two years, has averaged 60. You wouldn't take him? Shaq in his prime was playing 66 to 69. You wouldn't take him? I'm a quality guy. Kansas City won a Super Bowl. Mahomes missed two games and was hurt for three others. Like, like everybody gets caught up in, well, he's not there. He, Shaq didn't even like to practice. Shaq missed all sorts of games. You know, this goes to my Tua argument. I think Tua is going to be a really special NFL quarterback. If you told me today Tua is only going to play for the next eight years, 13 games a year, it's not ideal. It would be great if everybody's LeBron. They play for 17 years and get hurt once. But that's not the way the world works. Some people get sick more often at work. Some people have underlying medical issues. Some athletes, you know, they get banged up more. If Zion is as good as I think, these are his rookie numbers, 23. Two a game, six rebounds, 58% shooting. 
If he becomes, I mean, can we add five, six points on? I think we can. If he becomes a 27-point-a-game, nine-rebound guy, never great defensively, but just hella fun to watch, and I get him for 58 games a year. You do realize Adam Silver is trying to reduce the number of games in the NBA season, which I wholeheartedly agree with. I have no idea with the NBA travel and, and, and the 7,000 calories a player can burn in, in a two-hour, three-hour NBA game, why you'd play 82 games. You want him healthy for the postseason. Play 65, 68. Boom, let's get to the playoffs. Three-game first round, five-game second round, seven-game conference finals, seven-game NBA final. Let's make urgency. Let's make a matter. Let's keep these guys healthier longer. Most guys aren't LeBron. They get hurt over the course of a time. They wear down. Even like Kobe Bryant, last couple of years, he was getting banged up. It happens to the all-time greats. So, you know, what's it, funny about this, there's something about the NBA guys w- were bothered when they miss games. Ask yourself, Aaron Judge is the best baseball player. He's certainly the face of baseball. Aaron Judge has missed at least 50 games the last two years. Nobody talks about it. J.J. Watt has missed half of the Texans games the last four years. Nobody bangs on him. Why are we banging on NBA guys? It's hard. The travel's brutal. We consider them the world's best athletes. The cardio, the running up and down, the getting on a flight at 1130, flying cross country. The schedule's brutal. Maybe his body isn't good for it. But if you ask me, 12 NBA games in the upper deck or two on the floor, I'm taking two on the floor. I say it with Tua. If you give me 13 games a year, well, then it's the Miami Dolphins' responsibility to have capable backups. There's a lot of good quarterbacks out there. I mean, Tyrod Taylor was viewed as a a backup quarterback forever. He's starting for the Chargers this year. Last four years, I think he's got a winning record. There's a lot of good quarterbacks out there. Get a good backup. But I would take Zion in one second. Some, Some things are great, but they're just less frequent. Quality to me, he's worth it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.